Kerry Badham and I'm really excited to show you today out a brand new cute mummy and baby monkey set. You have the mummy or daddy monkey and you have the baby monkey and to accompany the set you have a small monkey face and a large monkey face. We've used the large monkey to create a topper to stand on top. We've dried that completely and to support it, I've attached it to lolly sticks, inserted into the cake and stuck on them with royal icing. As you move down the cake, we've got the, the little monkeys around the happy birthday and further down hanging on the vines we've got them hanging by their towel or by their feet or by their hands so starting from the top the FMM products that we've used is the FMM cute monkey set where you have the mummy um, or daddy and baby monkey. We've used the FMM essential shapes for the bellies on the the small monkey and the large monkey. We've used the bow tie which is in the decorative strip from the FMM gingerbread person set. Moving down the cake we've got the all-in-one happy birthday inscription. Very quick and easy to use and as I go further down the cake We've used the Art Deco to do the inscription on the board. The paste we recommend you use is modelling paste. I add a little bit of tile aid to my mat. And then I need the paste in to wrap. This one's Tile Aid by Rainbow Dust but you can also use CMC or gum tray. they're the same kind of thing so knead it in really well you'll start to feel your paste firm up you can't use it immediately you need to wrap it up for approximately half an hour or place it in an airtight container I just wrap it up in clean film or you can make it the night before The monkey that I'm going to show you to make is the small monkey. It's very easy to use. We've rolled out our modeling paste and I like to leave mine dry a little because it has a slightly drier top and I find that I get a very nice clean cut with this and it doesn't stick in my cutter. So I place the monkey on top and apply pressure all the way around. I slide mine around my mat We've got a lovely sharp edge on our cutters and I remove the excess. Look at a couple of little pieces. Remove those with your knife and scriber tool. Your monkey over. You can tap it on your work mat or you can just pop it through with a soft brush. Nice and easy. So now we need to create a face for our monkey. So again I'm going to use the small monkey face, slide it round, get a lovely clean cut, you can run your finger across the back if you want to, and then just pop this through. You see we've got a little tummy on ours. So to create the tummy we've used the FMM Essential Shapes tap it and I've used the third size circle it fits perfectly on his tummy and again you can tap this through or you can pop it through with your brush to attach the face and the tummy I've just used water you can use edible glue but what you will find is that when you use water, it activates the tile 
and will then make your water turn into glue. So now we need a little face on our monkey. So this is very easy to do. I have a little frilla tool which looks like a little hoof on the end. So we can give a smile. Yeah. And we can give make a little nose. And if you wanted to, you could have a little belly button. Can you see here the small detail that we've added? Now, if you notice on our cupcake, we've got some cheeks and we've got some eyes. That's done with flour dust, edible flour dust, and then it's done with an edible pen. But you can't do this until it's completely dry. We want to create a little bit of character and a face on our monkey now. So I'm going to give our monkey some cheeks. So this is some edible flower dust. And just nice and simply, we just put a couple of cheeks on. This one is the dry one. As you can see, I broke the towel accidentally here. And then we need to add some eyes. Now we can't do that on this one because it's still wet and you'll just drag the ice in. So you can do this nice and easily. On here, if you want to, you can give a little, little eyebrows too. And what you see is, you see the monkey face come to life. We're just going to add a little bow tie to our monkey. This is the cutter from our gingerbread set. We just pop it through. And it's quite quite cute. You can make them look like a little bow tie. Again, attach with water. And put one in the hair. So here we have our very cute monkey cupcakes. One with the bow in the hair, one without, and one as a bow tie. These are perfect for little party bag cakes for little ones to take away. You can also use them for christenings. And you could also use them on a safari themed cake. There's lots of possibilities for this cutter.